we had these beautiful prawns. They're quite visually beautiful to look at. So we're gonna take these blue prawns and we're going to make the mousse. We've got chilies in here, scallions, cilantro, roasted garlic, and that is going to sit as a base for the venison. This is a beautiful venison tenderloin. We're just gonna cut ourselves a nice beautiful piece here. The Chinese wanted to come up with a spice mixture that covered all the basics. Sour, bitter, sweet, pungent, and salty. All you need to do is take the five spices, which are cloves, cinnamon, fennel, star anise, and Szechuan peppercorns. Toast them off and then in just to a coffee grinder until you get them into a beautiful powder-like consistency. That's gonna work beautiful in terms of texture and flavor and keeping the palate really interested. We're going to do what is known as a tatake, which is a very high, high sear. We had given the students these beautiful chow mein noodles. This cavity of the leek is actually gonna hold our noodles upright. The sauce that we're going to use for our lovely chow mein noodles is the jasmine tea sauce, adding like a different texture to this dish, which is great. Take our prawn mousse and put it right on top of our persimmon disc. Got our black bean sauce. This is the ruler of all Chinese sauces. Now, we can start slicing our venison. Paper, paper thin. We're just gonna fan this out right on top of our prawn mousse. Now, final shabu shabu part. Our chrysanthemum tea. We're gonna pour our tea into the sake cup, keeping it very hot. We are to take one little piece of venison, put it inside of our cup, and then pour in our chrysanthemum tea. The fusion between the chrysanthemum and the five spice and the venison is gonna be a match made in heaven. Let's go meat course with, with, with purple. We utilized a couple of the different spices. We created like a, a dusting, seared it off, finished it in the oven, and just left that very simple, very plain. The sauce is basic jus that we use the wine that we paired it with. Mm -hmm and a persimmon puree. We took some of this dusting that we put and just a, a touch in there. I'm glad we scrapped the third sauce. Yeah. There's too yeah. much going on in the plate anyways that as it is. Yeah. Just ask anybody. We change our minds every minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine to change your mind. That, you know what that means? It means you're always thinking and it means you care. Did you do the banana leaf thing again? They were talking about a cornucopia or oh, something. You're, and not, I had coming to <laughs> you're, you're not coming to ever. You're never coming to these again. again. I think it's really cool that you left one whole piece and you sliced the first three to get them started and everything else. I thought that that's really cool. By using the same spice that's on the venison and then once again incorporating it into your persimmon compote, to me that's a no-no. We've got three of the five spice mixture on this. If you had used the other two in there, incorporated all, all of a sudden you've got five spice. They wanted to add some wine to the sauce and, and so we decided to go with the Syrah which is a little more earthy and I think works well with the venison. If you're using a particular wine in a dish, you can't go wrong with pairing the wine with that dish. So remember that. Great job. Yes. Cheers. Okay, let's, Team Orange, let's see what your final venison course. So uh, we finish it off with the yin yang theory. So we have uh, your raw, yeah. which is your carpaccio. After you move over to the tenderloin, the crust and sesame seed, and you finally move over to your Vietnamese pho with raw slices of venison, which will be cooked by the hot broth. Also in there is white and green asparagus. Good idea. Right. Good idea. I don't know where it came from. Did you sauce over? Yes, no? we did. Don't ever sauce over anything in your life, because if you cooked it properly, you should be proud and you want the world to see this beautiful color. I will give you high, high, high regards for the, the concept. I love the concept. Overall, you guys, did, you a great guys job. did a great job. Very good. What I am most impressed with is that you worked as a team. I wasn't here to harp on your cooking skills. I mean, we can talk about that too. But, <laughs> but I was here more to, to say this is the